بزنین I don't know what I put in this, but essentially there's a bit of parmesan, a bit of prosciutto, a bit of cilantro because I ran out of eggs and I didn't have any protein, and some peppers, chilies, with some poison and um, some sriracha sauce. But uh, yeah. Hey everyone, welcome to my first vlog. I'm sat on the couch looking disheveled. Just came back from the gym uh, and spent the last two hours or so figuring out how to edit this podcast that I kind of crudely filmed this morning. And so I'm very uh, excited to see how that turns out. It's my very first vlog, obviously, so like I'm not really sure what the heck I'm doing. But um, yeah, and right now I am trying to figure out where else to develop a uh, content presence on. And the one that immediately comes to mind is YouTube. And so that's why I've decided to start a YouTube channel. And I'm gonna probably be vlogging about my journey to becoming a content creator, but also um, I, ha I have ambitions to start a company helping creators. Um, and so yeah, I'll probably be vlogging a bit of that and seeing how that goes. Okay, so here's my workstation. It's kind of a mess, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Um, here I have a Herman Miller chair. I don't really know what the brand of it is called. And I have a um, standing desk or adjustable desk, however you wanna call it, also from Herman Miller. I've got two monitors. One is an LG monitor. The other one's also an LG monitor. And I have, um, MacBook Air, so I usually work on my MacBook Pro, but it got I had to be serviced at the Apple Store, so I took it there yesterday or the day before. Um, I expect it to be a okay in two days from now, so I can actually get to editing. But in the meantime, I have um, this Final Cut Pro trial that I'm testing to see um, if I can edit videos. And uh, yeah, and I have this wireless keyboard from Apple, as well as a wireless mouse from Microsoft. And I just made myself a cup of coffee. Um, yeah, so I'm getting my day started. I forgot to mention, I also have a mic. I believe this is from Blue Yeti brand thingy, but essentially I use this to record my podcast. Um, if you're interested in my podcast, um, I'd give it a shout out. It's called Infinite Runway, so uh, you can find me on Spotify, I believe, and um, soon I'll probably post it across other socials, so yeah, keep an eye out for that. I wanted to convert a TikTok I made of Denver into YouTube short, so I'm gonna go on and try to find some apps. Hey everyone, I also realized <clears throat> that I actually didn't give an intro as to why I'm starting this series, but basically, um, I wanted to be a founder or become a founder and my idea space, if you will, is in the creator space. Being a PM in the past um, and being trained as a PM, you are told 
you know, you need to really understand your customers um, and your users. And it just so happens that uh, being a founder, you also have to pay attention to your users and your customers. It's extremely important that you know them through and through and you know what their needs are, what their pain points are, etc. And I realized that I wasn't getting any responses from the cold reach outs to influencers and creators that are on these platforms for me to interview them. And so, yeah, essentially I decided to start this to see what it's like to be uh, a potential user of my own software. So it's kind of meta in that way. So yeah, I'm trying to understand and, and empathize what it's like being a creator, what it's like editing content, what it's like keeping up with your socials and cross posting content, gaming the algorithm, understanding, you know, how does the YouTube algorithm work versus TikTok versus um, Instagram and the various offerings that they have like Instagram Reels and YouTube's um, Shorts, for example. Anyway, bottom line, my goal is out of this is, uh, is to understand by way of pushing out content and engaging with you what it's like being a creator. And from that, hopefully, I'll be able to use my content as leverage to talk to other creators and to really understand what their pain points are and use this, this relationship with them uh, eventually as a conduit to conducting user research. And that's basically the first phase of validating your startup idea um, is to really understand, is there really a need for this? And is there uh, a gap in the market for this? And you know, especially who are you serving? Are you serving the creators? Are you serving creators managers? Are you serving the brands that the creators are working with? Are you serving the tools? that the creators are working with and so that's basically what I'm looking to do in this series. Now I'm vlogging this uh, and I'm calling it Founder Diaries because I wanted to understand what it's like to film all of this. I don't actually know of anyone really that has filmed their founder journey in the form of a vlog. Uh, or diary series on YouTube. Maybe there are. I haven't done my research, but I always wonder what it's like to kind of document this and look back on it years from now and, and kind of see where I'm at and see where I started from. So this, this will be interesting. Subscribe if you are interested in learning more. to editing inside of Final Cut Pro 10 for beginners. So if you're brand new to the... <laughs> huh. So one other thing I forgot to mention is as a founder, this is kind of memeing, but like to become a founder, you kind of have to be on like Twitter and stuff. And I'm a huge fan of Elon Musk and I think his content has been amazing. When I get distracted, I would just go on Twitter and that was kind of what I saw and I found that really funny. But yeah, so I'm just basically going through YouTube trying to learn how to use Final Cut Pro because you girls never learned how to edit videos. Uh, but yeah, wish me luck. It was Denny looking very unamused but effectively it's raining outside and he don't want to go for a walk and he hates this coat he hates it right Denny Denny do you hate this coat oh poor thing come on Denny hey good boy For dinner, we're gonna be making coconut shrimp and we have some leftover steak, but we're basically gonna be using this Kasori air fry that we bought recently from Amazon, the, the heavily raved one. So yeah, we'll let you know what that's like.